Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The General Hospital DH, spoilers for Friday, April 5, show that Lois Sorolo, Rena Sofa, assisted Brooke Lynn Quartermain, Amanda Seton, with her wedding dress problem. The majority of Leela Quartermain's Anna Lee gown was too old for modifications, but Lois decided it was time for some ingenuity. After calling the dress store, Brooke Lynn was overjoyed to learn that a portion of the garment may be salvaged. Sonny Corinthos, Maurice Bernard, invited Natalia Ramirez, Eva LaRue, to join him at the bar because they were both waiting for someone else. Natalia eventually admitted that she was still dealing with Blaze alias Alison Rogers, Jacqueline Grace Lopez, romantic life, but Sonny was understanding and supportive. Natalia remarked that Sonny was lighter now, so he gave an update on Dante Falconeri's, Dominic Zamprogna, rehabilitation and how it had helped his mood. When Brooke Lynn and Lois arrived, Natalia sounded annoyed that Brooke Lynn's wedding plans took precedence and wondered if Brooke Lynn could be Blaze's legitimate manager. Brooke Lynn claimed she could at a private table, while also emphasizing that she had no control over Blaze's personal life. It was up to Blaze to determine what she shared or not. Brooke Lynn did, however, mention Blaze's relationship with Christina Corinthos Davis, Kate Mansi, and Sonny's love for his daughter. BRQ questioned whether Sonny would agree with Natalia's efforts to keep Blaze and Christina's relationship a secret. Lois rejoined Sonny at the pub and immediately regarded Natalia as a stage mother who refused to let Blaze live her own life. At Bobby's, Carly Spencer, Laura Wright, complimented Molly Yancing Davis, Kristen Veganos, on how she handled Jason Morgan's, Steve Burton, case, which shocked Molly. Carly admitted that she would have felt differently if things had turned out differently, but she was relieved that Jason was free and Dante was recovering. Christina approached Carly about Nina Corinthos, Cynthia Watros, returned to Crimson, but Carly remained unconcerned, convinced that Drew Kane, Cameron Matheson, had his reasons. Christina soon joined Molly at a table and jostling Jacks, Eden McCoy, informed Carly of Dex Heller's, Evan Hofer, plans to become a cop. It made Jocelyn concerned about Sonny going after Dex, so she yelled loudly about how Sonny belonged in prison forever. Christina approached Jocelyn, resulting in a confrontation over Sonny's mob involvement. Jocelyn saw Sonny as a heartless thug who had damaged so many people's lives and asked Molly to show Christina the case involving Cyrus Renault, Jeff Cobra. No matter what Cyrus had done in the past, he was an elderly man who would not protect himself now. Christina came to Sonny's rescue, believing Jocelyn was ungrateful for everything Sonny had done for her over the years. Molly yelled at Jocelyn when Christina stormed out, telling her that Chrissy was pregnant and didn't deserve the stress. After Molly left, Carly implored Jocelyn to understand why Christina would defend her father. Jocelyn seems more concerned about Dex and the likelihood that Sonny would remove him permanently now that he had joined the PCPD. On Friday's GH episode, Jordan Ashford, Tanisha Harper, met with Drew to follow up on their conversation about using Aurora to improve the city's image. John Jagger Cates, Adam Harrington, interrupted the meeting to question Drew about Jason and whether he had been in contact with him. Drew disputed it, assuring John that he was not close to Jason, but John remained doubtful. Drew may be returned to Pentonville if he was found to be involved in Jason's illicit activities. Drew had nothing to hide and was unconcerned about John's warning, but he made it clear that any probe into him would be made public. Drew didn't think the FBI needed that type of attention, so John agreed they'd be done for now. That being stated, John instructed Drew to notify him if he heard from Jason. Drew emphasized that if John wanted to take down Jason, it was his responsibility. Drew clearly didn't want to be engaged. After John went, Jordan wondered who Drew despised more, Special Agent Cates or Jason. 
Drew didn't despise his brother, but he didn't want to get caught up in Jason's problems. Jordan was glad she stuck around to see Drew stand up to John, because it was stunning. At Pentonville, Anna Devane, Fanola Hughes, questioned Jack Brennan, Charles Monsieur, about Pikeman and his illegal activity, but Brennan acted as if someone had framed him because they didn't like the direction he was taking the WSB. Anna agreed to help Brennan prove it, but she needed to know who was operating Pikeman in his absence. Brennan claimed that he didn't know, so Anna went over her past with him before asking again. Brennan thought Anna was wasting her time and contacted the guard, telling him Anna was done with him. She brought Dant home from Sam McCall's, Kelly Monaco penthouse, apprehensive that Danny Morgan, Asher Antonizen, had gone missing, but Danny finally returned with donuts to celebrate Dante's return. Sam asked Danny to confirm that he was not with Jason, and he responded no. After Sam opted to return Danny's phones so she could activate the locate, he became enraged because she did not trust him. Dante spoke with Sam privately and said that it was a mistake to prevent Danny from Jason since it would only make him want to see his father more. In the end, Dante, Sam, Danny, Rocco Falconeri, Finn Francis Carr, and Scout Kane, Cosette Abenant, celebrated Dante's recovery by eating dessert before supper. According to General Hospital spoilers, Sam will face more Danny issues in the future, so stay tuned for more predictions on all the mayhem. General Hospital, GH, spoilers for Tuesday, April 9, show that the drama will heat up on the ABC soap, but first, let's go over a programming note. On Monday, April 8, G8 will be preempted for Eclipse coverage, but a new episode will air on Tuesday, when all action returns in Port Charles. For openers, Lena Corinthos, Cynthia Watros, and Drew Kane, Cameron Matheson, will have a crimson-related confrontation, but Lena hopes they will find a way to diffuse the tension. When Lena suggests a solution, Drew will wonder what he gets out of it. Drew will be suspicious at first, but it won't be long before Drew and Nina reach an agreement. That might be excellent news for Crimson, but Sonny Corinthos, Maurice Bernard, will be suspicious once he learns about Drew's employment decision. At his penthouse, Sonny will wonder why Drew would hire the lady who imprisoned him. That will make no sense to Sonny, so he may assume Drew has a plan to bring Nina down in some way. Christina Corinthos Davis, Kate Muncy, would most likely be the one to fill Sunny in, giving her the opportunity to observe Ava Jerome's, Maura West, strange behavior. Christina appears to be convinced that Ava is manipulating Sunny and is determined to put an end to it. According to other GH teasers, Olivia Quartermain, Lisa Losicero, will discuss someone doing something without her knowledge, and she will reveal it is not the first time this has happened. Olivia will appear annoyed as she expresses her opinion, whether it is about Nina or another person. Diane Miller, Carolyn Hennessy, will then meet with Jason Morgan, Steve Burton, to discuss someone who is working behind the scenes for him. Jason is unlikely to discuss the specifics of his agreement with John Jagger Cates, Adam Harrington, but he will require Diane to do something else for him, which may not sit well with Sonny. Jason may ask Diane to relay a message because we know Sonny will be furious on Tuesday's GH episode. Sonny will lose his cool over Jason's behavior once more, thus these two are unlikely to reconcile anytime soon. Carly Spencer, Laura Wright, will be in her car when she notices something surprising in the distance. Hey, let him alone. Carly yells as she honks in Tuesday's preview video. According to General Hospital teasers, Carly will find John in a dangerous predicament, therefore we expect her to save him. John might be attacked unless Carly intervenes by raising a commotion. Finally, Michael Corinthos, Chad Duell, will ask Willow Corinthos, Caitlin McMullen, about her profession as a nurse. Widow may acknowledge she isn't comfortable crossing any more lines in her job and hopes Jason stays out of problems from now on. CDL is the place to go for amazing general hospital spoilers, predictions, updates and news, so make us your number one source. 
Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.